Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horse <laughs> Sing none of it and tell me. Who sang that song? I don't know. 
<laughs> well, we got his old uh, old spiritual number. I mean, I think I got it from the, what is the, the song book? Uh, Rise Up Singing. Rise Up Singing, of course. It's in that. We've heard a lot of versions done by various Who built the ark? People, yeah. Um, I meant, who are you? The Mad oh, Tea Party. <laughs> We're glad to be here on this awesome program. <laughs> Thanks and, for having us. And we've got Jason. Yes, Jason Crackle playing the guitar. Jason here. Crackle. Yes, sir. Amy Worthen. Amy Worthen. And Laura Pendleton. 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 I should remember that. I have a Pendleton blanket. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so give us another one. Here's okay. the original one. Amy wrote. <clears throat> Are. None of them. <laughs> Laura, we don't know any original North Carolina. We know a couple. Well, <laughs> Laura, I remember, is from New Jersey That's somewhere. That's right. I grew up in Bergen County. County. Bergen County. Yeah. And how about the two of you? Where are you from originally? I lived all over growing up. I've lived most of my life in North Carolina. It's where I consider home. I like calling North Carolina home. That's like the state slogan. <laughs> it's true. It's a good place to be. <laughs> and I'm from uh, Louisville, Kentucky, originally. And, uh, so grew you, up in Nashville, Tennessee. You come by that southern accent naturally, then. Yes, it's not just. And it's good manners too. <laughs> good manners, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we're we're glad that we all ended up in Nashville and that we found each other and That's right. could start Mad Tea Party. And we're glad too. <laughs> <laughs> Great. 
Take well, we, it away. Er, er, earlier today we were talking about North Carolina and we were talking about whistle pig. Do you know what a whistle pig is? Why, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's a groundhog. That's right. And we're going to do a song about a whistle pig based on a true story. Written by Amy Worthen. We're going to medley it with another tune written by Miss Laura Pendleton on the bass. From New Jersey. FYI. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this one here. <laughs>
I've got a question about whistle pigs. Because <laughs> I had some groundhogs live near my cabinet shop, and I never heard them whistle. Do they actually whistle? I think that it, the name might have come from when you're driving past on the highway, if you whistle, they stand up on their, <laughs> on their hind legs. That's what I've heard, but I, I don't know. I you heard have a different you, theory. Uh, I heard they whistle when you... <laughs> it's the last Absolutely. thing they do. Uh, it is a, it is sort of a de, you know a, a delicacy you know among mountain people. <laughs> You've heard well, that old time song, song Groundhog, right? Yeah, I knew that one. <laughs> well, see. old Groundhog. <laughs> right before their dinner, they maybe make a little whistle sound. <laughs> <laughs> or if they get hit by an SUV. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we do another song? Or? First, let's tell folks how to find out more information about That'd you. That's a good idea. Maybe. News Maybe at the, <laughs> themadteaparty.com for more information or go to www.madteaparty.com. The, 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 the mad. madteaparty.com. Does it matter if you pronounce it the or the? No. <laughs> and you've got two recordings out. One called 73% Post Consumer Novelty. And the more recent <laughs> one called thing. Flying Saucers. <laughs> and folks can find out more information about that on your website or by emailing you at the, that address. Absolutely. That's right. <clears throat> And I should also say that I first heard you on the, the live recording of, or the live, bro live broadcast of Uke Jackson's Flaming Ukulele Hour on WNTI. That's right, that was a fun show. Which wherever you are, you can get at WNTI.org. 91.9 <laughs> FM if you're in the North Jersey area. It's a great station. It is, mm -hmm. and a great show you put on. Yeah. yeah. Uke's and done a lot for us, he's, he's great. He's Ukulele advocate. So, <laughs> you know, the Ukulele Freedom Front is liberating ukuleles from the closets and attics of America. It's a <laughs> radical movement. So, I started out on ukulele when I was nine years old. It's a good the training wheels kind of instrument, huh? <laughs> Gets you started. I kind of got stuck, I guess. In the I still play one occasionally. Give yeah. us another tune. Okay. Do you think we have time for a couple more? Or? Yeah, you got uh, eight minutes. Holy smokes. Yeah, we'll, we'll, do a, we'll do a love song, 62 years. Sure, sounds good. Did you write this one? Oh my god, I wrote this song. I wrote this song, we were um, playing at a retirement home, and they were giving out pens to the couples that were there that had been together, and for birthdays. It's so one couple had been together 20 years, and one couple had been together 62 years. And I thought that was pretty cool. So I wrote a song about it. There's also another couple in their late 80s, and they'd been together three years. So <laughs> also that was awesome. They all got the pens, but that's how this song <laughs> got started. <clears throat> Yeah. 
minutes left to blast off. <laughs> Let's do music. Man. We're gonna we're gonna we do a song. We we took a poem from 1874 and put it to music by a poem by Arthur O'Shaughnessy. So, <laughs> should we do that one? Let's there you have it. it. <clears throat> Ready? <laughs> It's folk tuning, ladies. <laughs> have time to thank you for being our guest on Horses Sing None of It and give your website one more time www.vmadteaparty.com for more information and we're going to take it out with a little what was it Liza thanks for having us Ralph we really appreciate our it. pleasure thank you so much. Let's take one out with you. <laughs>